So you just got that band director job you've always wanted, but it's taking up a ton of your time, like you expected it to, but now you're wondering, how do you balance band directing and your personal life? Roll the intro. Woo! Okay, welcome to Rocky Point Vlog, where my goal is to help you by sharing my experiences throughout marching band, drum corps, and now high school band directing. So here we are, great outdoors, perfect lighting, I thought for a video, also just a change in scenery, and uh, I don't know, this is my personal time, going for a little walk, so I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about how to balance band directing and your personal life. Now, uh, I've gotten a comment or two about how one does this. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to describe because everybody's life is slightly different, right? Even when I was an assistant band director, uh, it, I was, I may have been part-time employed, but I was there way more than full-time employees were. Um, and now that I am a solo band director, um, school hasn't started yet, but even in just the rehearsals that I've been at, I'm always, you know, rehearsal will go from eight to 12 and I'll be there well into one, or if I get busy cleaning things, or especially in these early stages, I'll be there. I accidentally caught myself there at like, five o'clock after running some errands um, but that was that was a rare exception every day when I come home from working last year I would I would make some dinner probably a sandwich to eat cheap um, and then I would eat you know get some water get a Gatorade if I was feeling extra fancy from the fridge and I would eat I catch up on what I missed whether it be on YouTube uh, with some of the people I'm subscribed to, or Netflix, or Hulu, or you know, anything like that. Stranger Things, really great, awesome, love season three. Um, but that aside, I found myself in a constant cycle of wake up early, go to school, teach all day, do a little bit of planning during my planning period, and then stay late, either rehearsing or running errands or other things, and then finally, coming home, being home around seven average, seven or eight, getting something to eat, and then falling asleep on the couch watching uh, Netflix or whatever it is I was watching beforehand. So uh, it is definitely difficult to balance all of these things. And to be quite honest, I'm still figuring it out. Um, and just like anything, whether it be learning your instrument or learning to teach, it's gonna take some time before you really kind of get a feel for how to balance it and then of course something in life will change and you'll have to readjust your whole balance um, so uh, like I've moved back to my hometown so that was an adjustment new job where I'm the only band director new adjustment um, so all of my previous learnings are important and I have them here but they're not all going to apply in specific situations so my best advice if I'm just giving overall advice um, which doesn't always fit with these kinds of jobs is do not stop doing what you love doing before you became a band director in your spare time. So for me, like I thought I was gonna have to stop playing video games because band directors don't do that. We just don't have time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, or I was gonna have to stop watching all my shows on Netflix because there's no time for that. That is not true. You need that stuff to stay sane. Uh, don't lose who you were before you got the job that you have. Yeah, go watch Netflix, go play video games, but do it, you'll probably have less time to do it, but do it when you can. Um, and yeah, that brings me to my next point. In order to enjoy the things you are doing, forget about work while you're trying to do those leisurely things you love, whether it be hanging out with family or uh, again, Hulu, Netflix, whatever it is, video games, horseback riding, whatever it is for you. Um, try not to think about it because worrying about your, your job while you are trying to relax doesn't help you better prepare for when the job is, when you're in job mode, right? You've just been worrying about it the whole time and you're stressed out. Take some time for yourself. It's really not a problem. It's okay to not be available for a certain amount of time as much as you want to help everybody. <laughs> now I'll have to stay here and enjoy myself. The other thing that I would recommend now that I am a solo band director is Make sure you're delegating your job, uh, because there's so many times we're like, oh yeah, I can do that. 
and it'll eat into my personal time where I could either A, use um, a tiny bit of Bambooster money to let somebody that's better at it and quicker at it do it for me versus me trying to do it um, and, and know that I can do it, it'll just take a while. Um, like arranging music or uh, arranging a section of a piece of music. Also, when it comes to like collecting forms and doing stuff like that, don't be afraid to get your Bambooster's involved so that you can have time for you and not have to be sitting there doing more paperwork than you already have to do as a band director. So let them handle some form collection uh, and just delegate. Don't be afraid to learn how to do that. And again, I'm still learning, but it's definitely, I figured out where I'm needed uh, and what I need to have my hand in and what I don't uh, and what I can release to parents or volunteers. What I have found that also could work for people is blocking instead of blocking out time for free time which i guess works to a certain extent but i found that you have a little less enjoyment is make everything free time and block out certain sections when you're at home that you're either going to check emails or do school or band related things because otherwise uh your mind will just race like i've mentioned before and it's just not good um for when you're on the clock <laughs> um it's it's not good for making those kinds of decisions or planning ahead uh, or anything if you're always thinking about it and always drained out, right? And it would be like running a marathon and uh, if, if you had to run the whole thing, great, you'd have to be really ashamed to do it. Um, however, if you were able to stop and take water breaks for short periods of time while doing this marathon, I think it'd be a lot easier, a lot more manageable, and you might enjoy it a little bit more, especially if you're a little out of shape um, or a lot of out of shape or any of the above. So. Or even if you are in shape, it would be easier because you wouldn't be running the whole time. So that's just my two cents on that. Block out times that you are going to be using your free time for work if you need to, knowing that maybe band camp's coming up. When you go home, maybe something could pop up. So just be careful there. And I think the last tip that I have, at least for right now in my career, is when you're on the clock, when you are at work, make sure you're 100% focused on the job. It's so easy to get sidetracked by other things that are happening and it's gonna happen inevitably, right? You're gonna get, uh, I don't know, some sort of social media post that pops up on your phone or somebody calls you or an email from that isn't work related or whatever it is, or Apple's coming out with a new iPhone today, uh, you know, anything like that, uh, that you wanna tune in, watch, or you're to get excited about. And those are great, um, but make sure you kind of check in once you've checked out for a bit, make sure you realize that and check back in and make sure that you have the student's best interest in mind. If you're thinking about bettering their lives and enriching their lives by everything you're doing. So once you realize that you have checked out, check back in so that you can give the kids 100% of your effort when they deserve it. While you're on the clock, while you're at school, while you're at after school rehearsal, while you're doing the things that you've planned. Once you're home, it's fine to unwind, but give them everything while you're there. Otherwise, why are you there? And that's where we are right now uh, in terms of balancing. I hope this has helped. If I start, when I start dating somebody, eventually, hopefully, um, I will let you know how this balancing changes and what I learn as I go. That's kind of what this channel's about. It's my story in band directing, music education, sharing my experience with you. So hopefully you can learn and we can help push the next generation of uh, educators or marching members or people that are just looking into this that are interested to, to get to the next level uh, and not make the mistakes that I made or if I can help them out in any way. So this is kind of my way of educating the future educators uh, without being a college professor. <laughs> um, and I really love sharing with you guys. So comment below if there's anything you want to hear or see. Um, I will make this announcement now. Next week we start band camp. So I'm not sure I can promise a video next week. Um, however, uh, I might have a little bit more time the next week, we'll see, or the weekend. Again, I'm making no promises, so if I disappear for two to three weeks, I'll hopefully check in with a post. If you're subscribed, you should get those. So um, check in. Uh, I'm doing my job. Again, thinking about the job. I love YouTube. I love you guys, but uh, band directing. Uh, Got to take care of business first and then talk about the business. Otherwise, there's this YouTube channel. Like, no, no point, right? Um, so yeah, first solo band camp, running it alone. We should be in good shape. I'm super excited where the show's at, everything. So hopefully we'll hear, you'll hear more from me later. But until then, the sun is going down. Great lighting though. Um, 
and I guess until next time, we'll catch you guys later.